Hello, and this is going to be my first video of reviewing builds from Simple Planes. First, we have a build called Ultra Blue Twin Prop 81 by Xbox Series X. It takes off in 3 seconds. So far, it has okay maneuverability, and its design is, well, very minimal. It turns good. I think it maxes out around 600 kilometers an hour. Well, first I'm gonna try and land it on the USS Beast, since the person who created it told me it's impossible to land. It took me a few tries, but I get I got there eventually. The propellers normally always break off for some reason. Okay, we're getting close. Mm. The thing is, when I first tested it, the first person camera is like inside the plane, so you can't see anything. So I just stick with third person perspective. So far I'm just trying to get it lined up so I can make a easy landing. By the way, this is my second try at landing the USS Beast aircraft. I already nailed it. Maybe you can try it in your own time. It took me quite a few tries just to land on the normal Wright Airport, then to try on the USS Beast. Come on, I can do this. Going in for a landing. Okay, going in at a steady pace of 200. Actually, this, I need to go up a bit. I'm full, I'm going too low. So it down. Oh, this is way too fast. This isn't going to end well, isn't it? Okay, I'm lucky this time. I'm... Oh, is it going to stop? Is it going to stop? Ah, perfect. Last second. I nailed it again. Can it fly through the bridge? Okay, I sped this up so you can see. Well, because it's in third person, it's very hard to go through the bridge. Oh, well, for me. I'm more like a first person player. So, yeah. Well, I gotta do something about it, so I'm just gonna move this forward. I don't know why is it in the middle of a fuselage, but well, I guess it's the designer's choice. I'm gonna move it a bit forward. Nope, that's way too much. Get back there. Yeah, that's better. Okay, let's try again. Come on, come on! Second time's the charm, we can do this! Yes. Yes, yes, no, 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 yes, 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 Ah, finally we did it. So we can't fly through bridges with this plane with enough skill. The second build I'm going to review is the SP-21 by Deadlock Death 01. He has an interesting colour scheme of red, blue, and cyan. So far, this is pretty slow. It's kind of expected because it's a heavy tank and it's absolutely massive. The colour red and blue probably just shows pride. It doesn't really help with the actual combat effectiveness. Normally what I would choose is black or white or green or desert for different you know, camos. I would normally work on combat effectiveness instead. It has around a max speed of 60 kilometers an hour. Time to test out the weapons. I'm gonna first slow it down so it makes it easier to aim. I'm gonna first test out the main gun. Okay, depression on elevation. It turns pre at a pretty good speed. Time to test out the gun. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, the whole reason of a triple barrel is supposed to shoot the three barrel salvo, but it doesn't do that. It probably just for this one, it makes reloading faster. It's probably auto loaders or something. But unfortunately, I don't think auto loaders can fit in here. And the stem is very strange for the main gun. Time to test out the machine gun. How's it explode up bazooka? Okay, anyways. The machine gun works very well. I think it's his base off the MG42 because of its drum mag. But the drum mag is on the wrong side. Anyways, it's very nice. It works. Oops, press the wrong button. I think I pressed the parachute button. Well, this shows us that it can be deployed out of aircraft. Hmm. Nice. I like it how the green blinks in the middle. Time to destroy that tower. I usually use the different controls, so it's very hard for me. Give me a second. Oops. Uh, wrong one. Switching to rocket. Uh, no. Here it is. Yeah, yeah. It is pretty accurate. Let's see how hard is it to shoot down planes. Nope. It is very easy because he has a very high fire rate. And that plane's gone. Oh, well, that was easy. Oh, well, it's very good at shooting planes. But can it destroy the convoy? Well, it's quite slow, so it's going to be very hard to catch up to the convoy. The gun's way too sensitive, it's so it's quite hard to aim. Yeah, we're not going to catch up to the convoy, aren't we? The creator also told me not to press 5. I want to see what it do. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm dead, aren't I? Well, at least it destroyed the convoy. Hmm. The third plane I'm going to be reviewing is the BF110C7 by Sovlyaksky, Russia. Hopefully I pronounced it correctly. If not, put put it in the uh, well comments below. It takes off very fast. It has custom landing gear and it has thick wings. Oh, custom landing gear retracts. That's nice. Hmm. Well, it's a well, It's quite maneuverable. Oh well, go no first person for me again. Ah, let's see if I can destroy this convoy in first person. Finally, destroy one. I have to do something about this again. I kind of want to move this cockpit forward so I can actually see. Wrong way. So I can aim properly. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's better. Let's try again, shall we? This time with first person perspective. Hmm. I'm going to be real thirsty this time. I'm going to destroy them all. Oh, I think. Okay. First run or second try. Let's do this. Let's get a bit far away so you can turn around and still have a lot of space. It turns very fast, which is nice. At least get one out in this first one. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. 
going in for a second run. Slowing down so you have more time to aim. Okay. Second run. Managed to flip one time. Yep, and you managed to flip one. Ah, oh, and it flips back on its wheels again. That's annoying. Going on for a third one. Okay. Come on. Okay, two, two, lift, lift, lift. Oh, come on. Well, I did pretty well. Didn't I? Hopefully. Let's try and land on the USS Beast. Let's get right into it. Okay, we're going in for a landing. Slowing down at a steady pace of 150, okay, we're going quite low. We need to pick up more speed. Okay, 125, nope. Come on. Yeah, and this should be easy to land. If it's very easy to land on right, it must be very easy to land on here. Perfect. Gonna try and use the brake. We're turning. Don't roll off the ship, please. Perfect. Okay, we landed it. Here it is. I guess you know what I want to do. I want to try and fly through this bridge with this plane. This should be easy since this plane is very maneuverable. I need to slow down a bit. Maybe catch some speed because I, I'm not that patient as you can tell. Okay, I can start turning. Perfect. Okay, we're aligned with a bridge. Let's try and fly through it. Come on. I hopefully don't hit the wings on the side. Whoa, that was close. Come on. Yes. Come on, come on. We can do this. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, this is easy, of course. I don't need to exaggerate it. This is easy. Since it has air-to-air -air weapons, why not take down the plane? This should be easy, right? I guess this answers the question. The fourth plane I'm going to review is the W1914 Fox by Texed EXE. Okay, it has very nice design. They even had the support wires. On the top, it seems like a Lewis gun. Okay. It takes off in around two seconds. Turns pretty well. Nice maneuverability. The creator says that the reason why it's called the Fox it's because of its colour, orange and white, and it reminds him of the colour. And the first thing I'm going to do is try and land it on the USS Beast like always. Okay, going in for a landing. Come on. Okay. We are standing face of 400. Getting closer. Now I can slow down a bit. Okay. How close are we getting? I'm not sure. But we have to speed up. 
Oh, we're getting too low, so yeah. Okay, going into first person, going in for a landing. Okay, this is way too low. Lift, lift, lift. Okay. Oh, that didn't end well. Hopefully I didn't break it off. And we've landed. The propeller's still intact, so that's good. Let's see what can this little biplane do. Okay, I'm shooting. I'm trying to hit the drone. The spur of this gun is way too small. It's going to be very hard to hit the drone. Normally you would like to have the spread a bit bigger. Oh, we've got him. Well, okay. I think you guys know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to fly through that bridge over there. Again. This should be moderate. It turns well, so hopefully I can get through this bridge. I might miss the first one though. Yep. Oh, no, 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 I'm flying way too close to the side. Okay, 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 we got out the end, unscathed again. This time we're going to review a, well, battleship. It is the USS Montana by Steve Minecraft 01. It looks very good. I like the superstructures. It probably needs a bit of colour, though. Let's test out its weapons on the destroyer. Oh, it has a realistic slow turning rate. How I like it. It doesn't have enough. It isn't turn enough to fully hit the destroyer, so I had to turn the whole ship myself. Ah, nice, it shoots a salvo and stops as soon as it shoots all of its shells. Nice. Very powerful guns. I like it. Okay. Time to test out the little ones. I can give you a little tip. You can rename the little guns as, like, secondary guns, so you can shoot them separately, and they don't have to wait for the reload of the big guns to shoot. You can go into XML and change the name by typing name in the input and the, you know, name on the other side, so. Yeah, so you can shoot them separately instead of needing to wait for the whole entire reload. Secondary guns shoots very well. I don't think it st stops shooting, so might as well stop right here. Okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, time to test out the anti-aircraft guns. It shoots very fast, but the thing is, maybe try not use, well, rosary guns. Maybe use wing guns instead since they're more authentic. But this is very good. I like the controls on it. The builder says that it's a generation 1 model, so he'll be building more soon. Anyways, the speed is around 70 kilometers an hour. The turn rate is alright, I like it. The sixth plane I'm going to review is a Trakulov 38 by Not So Normal Pioneer. It seems like that the creator put a lot of effort into this plane. It even looks like I have a full blown cockpit by the little fuselage construction in the front. The flaps are realistic. I like it. Yeah, okay, now all realistic. They're made with fuselages. This, no, there is definitely a lot of effort going into this plane. Let's take it for a spin. Whoa, look at the cockpit. Look at all these gauges and stuff. This is so realistic. Okay, let's see. Yep. It seems like the, l the left one is for speed and the right one is in altitude. Probably in feet because I'm using meters right now and it's not syncing up. Let's test out the compass. Okay, the compass is realistic. Yep. It's very realistic. And it's so, it's so cool. There's a lot of things to talk about it. Okay, going for a landing on the USS Beast Carrier. Let's see if I can land it. I heard that number four is for parachutes, so I might as well use it. Oh, life spike. 
Okay, slowing it down. Game four landing parachute. Okay, let's see. Hopefully I don't damage the front fuselage. No, I don't. Okay, I'm lucky this time. Very fast and easy landing. This was easy. Very nice plane. Very nice plane. I guess you guys know what I'm gonna do. I'll try and weave through the bridge like always. Okay. Go in for a run. Let's see if I can make it. Okay. We're going in fast at Mark 1. Okay. Perfect. We weave through it like if it's easy. The seventh plane I'm going to review is the North American T6 Texan by Papa Kernels. Okay. It looks very nice. I like how the American sign is on the wing and on the side of the plane. It says, so it, something tells me that it's a sea plane, so it lands on aircraft carriers, I guess. I like how that little face is on the tail wing. <laughs> okay, it's time for takeoff. Uh, I guess you guys know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and land on the USS Peace carrier. See you when I'm there. Okay, let's try landing. This should be quite easy since it's a slow pain already, so I don't have to slow down as much. And it glides very well, so I don't have to keep hiring up the engine to get a bit higher. Okay, yeah, it should be easy. I can tell. I'm definitely going to land this time. Okay, um... Uh, please don't miss it. Okay, yeah, easy landing. Let's step on the brakes. Whoa, okay. That was close. I could have destroyed the propellers. Luckily they're in horizontal position. I think you guys know what's going to happen now. Yeah, of course. I'm going to bring you through the bridge with this plane. Let's see if it fits through. I if I'm good off a pilot enough to fly through it anyways. Okay, we're going in slow and steady. Because this plane is slow and steady, steady of course. At a speed of 350 km an hour. Let's go straight through it. This should be easy. Yeah, as I expected. I don't even go into third person. <sighs> Such a breeze. Okay, right out of it. Hmm, why not try it again? Okay, let's see if I can give it a little turn. Oh, the plane's stalling. We're stalling, but I think we can make it. Yep, here's the stall. Okay, anyways, this is perfect. I can fly through it again, right? Yeah, I should be able to. Look at this. Very smooth. Very nice. As smooth as a baby's butt. The eighth plane that I'm gonna review is the Cold War Challenge entry F-104 Starfighter by Weirdo Guy Majig. It looks like one. Gears up. And... Oh, I can't see anything. And it handles like one. Yeah. If you guys know, yeah, I do play War Thunder. But I don't normally record it because I'm very bad at it. <laughs> Okay, see you there. Okay, going in for landing. Oh, it's kind of fast. Ah, oh, I'm in the water. Try again. 
Okay, um, let's go in. Yeah, it's not happening for me, isn't it? Again. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Maybe a bit. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, it's way too fast. I think I'm gonna go under again. I'm this time I'll try and not go through damage. it. I'll set go through it from the side because I don't think I can turn that fast to actually go through the hole that was intended to miss. Yeah. Miss. Maybe try again. Okay, second time. Uh, my wing's gone. Yep. Restart. Okay. Third time. I think I got it this time. I, I think I got it this time. I think I got it this time. I think I do. I think I do. No, I went under it. Damn it. Reset. Okay. Fourth time. I think we got this this time, right? Hopefully. I'll have to at least go through one of them. And I think I'm happy for the day. Yes! Okay, we went through it. I don't care if I sunk, but we did it, right? We did it. And here is a short clip of me helplessly trying to shoot down a drone. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my leg my arm, even my fingers, the body I've lost, the comrades I've lost, won't stop hurting, it's like they're all still there, you feel it too, don't you? Hmm, but now I thought, why not try ground targets? Ah, uh, nope. Try again. Going in for the second run. And I'm helpless on time. Can I kamikaze into one? Nope. I still can't do that too. Third run. Let's do this. Okay, maybe go a bit, a bit slower, right? That should help a bit. Oh, well, at least this time I hit a few bullets, but yeah, I I'm gone. Let's try this again. I mean, this time is a charm, right? Can I at least destroy one truck? This is embarrassing. Oh, come on! Oh, yeah. This isn't going well. Let's try again. Maybe this would go well. Okay, go in again. I can get a few bullets in and I crash. Yep. Damn you! I will come back later. The ninth build I'm going to review is a JK4 Ragnarok by Crimson on Girl. It has three nice engine inlets and I like how the rotary cannons are there. There is nice custom landing gears. Oh, look at these guns. Okay, they also have custom weapon bays. Wasn't expecting that, but okay. Okay, we close it. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and land on the aircraft carrier. Yeah, it's very cool design. It looks maneuverable to me. And unsurprisingly, it is maneuverable. Whew, finally, a break. Yay, I can see again. This should be an easy aircraft carrier landing. I think I can do this on my first try. Okay. Going in. Deploy landing gears. 
Okay, give me a second. Uh, yeah, I just gotta concentrate. Yeah, I'll deploy my banding gears now. Okay. Activate air brakes. Now? Okay, done. Perfect. I landed on this aircraft carrier on my first try. This should be easy. I'm gonna weave through the bridge in this, well, jet. I think it's this jet, right? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section. Okay, weaving through the bridge. Hopefully this is easy. Ooh, nice. Okay, it is easy. So easy now I didn't even need to tuck my landing gear in. <laughs> ha! I told you! Now you will die. I will drop a 50 kilo bomb on your heads. I'm gonna drop it, I'm flying to a high altitude so I won't be destroyed by my own bomb. This bomb is so powerful that I will destroy all of you with one single explosion. Oh, I feel so evil today. Look at them die. The ninth plane I'm going to review is the ZC-5 by ZC. It looks like that it's based off the MiG-21, but it's a bit shorter. Hmm. I like the cockpit view. It looks quite cool. It's very manoeuvrable. It's just one thing that's bugging me off. It's just a um, little aim sight in the middle which is not aligned. Yeah, don't worry. It's just me. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and land on the USS Beast. This plane flies at about Mark 1, which is around 1000 kilometers an hour, so one time the speed of sound. Okay, going in for landing. This should be easy. This plane's maneuverable and easy to fly. It should be very easy to land. There should only be problems with, well, braking. I think it's going to tip or something if I shoot a brake because of the strange structure of the landing gear. Okay, if I brake... Yeah, and this is kind of expected. Okay, on to the bridge weaving. This should be easy. Whoa, and that's close to the top. That's a bit close to the top. Yeah, and this is like a bit better. Yeah, it's probably just because of my bad piloting skills that to make it look smooth, but it could have been smooth. Since it has machine guns, let's try and shoot down the plane. Yep, that was easy. Ah, here it is smoking. Yeah. Yeah. That twin prop is down. The tenth build I'm gonna review is the SF-32 Hellfire 2 by no name 918181. So far it seems like... Uh... It looks like a F-22. No, it's not an F-22. I'm not a plane expert, but this seems like a breed between two planes. But anyways, it looks very cool. Very sneak. He did use panelling, which is good. Oh, look, a cockpit. It has a radar and a gyroscope. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it works very well. It works very well. Oh, look at this. Yeah, and this is quite realistic. We're just missing one thing, but I think that's it. Okay, I'm gonna try and land on the aircraft carrier with this plane. See you when I'm there. Ok, 
Okay, going in for aircraft carrier landing, extending landing gear. Okay, let's see if I can land properly. Okay, going in slow. Okay. What have I broke? What did I break? Uh, what happened? Well, let's just try again, shall we? Yep, second try. Okay, going for our second aircraft carrier landing. Hopefully I don't break anything this time. Okay, let me see. Okay, I'm, I'm turning a bit too much. Need to realign myself. Okay, this is better. Okay, going in for a landing. It's a bit fast, but I think we can still do it. Okay. We have a nice touchdown, but we're still going too fast so we fly off the other side. That's very unlucky. Hopefully the third time is the charm, right? Okay, going in. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, speed it up a bit so I don't go under. And I stay straight. Okay. Going in. My landing gear is already out, so I don't really need to do it. Okay. I'm trying. Yeah. This isn't good. Anyway, since it has weapons, why not try shooting down some planes? Okay. Searching for one. Ah, two of them. Okay, I'll take down one with a long range missile. And another one. Actually. Does it hit? Yep, okay. Another one with a short range missile instead. Oh, what happens here? Well, this isn't good. Thank you guys for watching this whole half an hour long video with me. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And also, hit that bell. It will send you a notification whenever I send you a video. And also, if you wanted me to carry on, comment down below what build should I review next. If you don't, tell me why and I'll probably stop because, <laughs> of course I will. And just enjoy, well, my little gameplay here. See ya.